Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the coup against Donald Trump. Yes, it's been going on um, for the past uh, three and a half years. Uh, the coup against Donald Trump is the subject of tonight's report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the coup against Trump. I'm sure you've noticed this going on. And um, obviously there's a huge scandal uh, that's playing out uh, in American politics in the moment that's bigger than the Watergate scandal. It was quite fascinating, actually. There was a, a two-part uh, SBS documentary uh, on Nixon. And um, I mean, you know, I mean, first of all, I'd like to say I'm, I've always been in support of President Nixon. I don't think President Nixon did anything wrong. Ex anything he, he did wrong was to remain loyal to some of the people who worked for him. And he tried to protect many of the people who worked for him, who had families and who he cared about, who, um, you know, who actually did participate in, in activity that was potentially illegal. And that um, Nixon himself didn't do anything wrong. All he did was just basically participate in the cover-up to protect his uh, friends who were loyal to him. So actually that just shows that President Nixon was a loyal person who protected his own, um, you know, staff and underlings. And, uh, um, you know, I think Trump is, is sometimes similar. And that could be a, a flaw of President Trump because I think he's a loyal person. But look, what's been going on, you know, it, it, it's like... Uh, it is like the, the Watergate scandal, but it's not Trump that's been doing it. It's actually all of Trump's uh, adversaries, and particularly the previous administration, the Obama administration. Um, you know, there was this FISA warrant that's been uh, issued um, by the FBI and uh, the Obama administration to spy on the Trump campaign. I mean, this was clearly illegal. And then there was the way they went after General Flynn, who was disinterested in exposing elements of the deep state. I mean, it's quite extraordinary uh, what's been going on. I'd like to list the amount of coups um, that's uh, been attempted against Donald Trump. So we can go through that now. And when he first got into power, um, uh, there was a guy called uh, Rosenstein who wanted to invoke the 25th Amendment to say that Trump was uh, mentally... Uh, uh, what's it called, mentally incompetent to rule. Um, they tried that on very early on. Obviously, that didn't fly. And actually, what's hilarious is uh, crazy Nancy Pelosi has brought out that again against Trump to try and uh, uh, again uh, invoke that because recently Donald Trump did get COVID-19 even though he beat it within like a week, which is absolutely fantastic. Go Trump. I'm wearing my Trump 16 t-shirt today because I'm a big supporter. I'm going to get a Trump 21 for uh, in time for the election. But um, yeah, look, it's quite extraordinary, these amount of attempts. Rosenstein uh, was the first one. Uh, and obviously invoking the 25th and obviously Nancy Pelosi has again tried to bring that load of bullshit out of the uh, out of the laundry so to speak then there was the whole uh, Russiagate scandal um, Russiagate scandal was recently um, revealed to be an original plan a diversionary plan of Hillary Clinton herself um, she invented the Russia hoax and um, you know I mean it's, it's been admitted by I think it was Clapper uh, he had, had written on his hand um, that you know he, he showed it to Obama that you know basically it was invented by Hillary is a load of bullshit and then they ran with that and then for two years with Mueller the Mueller investigation well, I'm sure we all remember that for almost two and a half years they investigate President Trump and what did they come up with fucking nothing okay and then the, the next um, load of bullshit they tried to uh, perform a coup against President Trump was with the impeachment um, and obviously the Ukraine scandal and obviously the main scandal that was going on in Ukraine was what was happening with Joe Biden's son Joe Biden's son was put on a, um, a board like an oil company and he was taking huge amounts of money. This is the way that the globalists work. They take their kickbacks. You, see, you know, there's all this stuff about foreign aid. I mean, you know, you, all, you should all know all the money Australia and America give in foreign aid, it does not go to anybody in other countries. All the money, it's just kickbacks. It goes to corrupt globalist criminals. For example, in relation to Joe Biden, it goes to Joe Biden's son, and his son will then funnel that money back into the Biden family itself. And that's how it worked. Basically, um, Hunter Biden was the bag man, and he was working, working, I mean, not working, he was basically uh, doing blow and screwing uh, Ukrainian hookers as far as I can tell and he was involved in human trafficking I mean there you go I mean what else do you want to fucking know about that guy so this is exactly, you know, again, the Ukraine scandal. Over one conversation they tried to impeach the president and what happened? Nothing. And what happened as soon as that was over? The China virus was released from China. So again, this is another coup attempt. I believe the whole COVID crisis is another coup attempt. I believe it was released from the Wuhan lab and I believe it was released on purpose. It was a weapon. And you know, you have Jane Fonda recently saying that COVID has been a huge gift to the left. Yeah, it was a gift, all right. Uh, she claimed it was God's gift. It wasn't God's gift. It was China's gift to the left because it's all part of this destabilization agenda that's been going on to try and unseat President Trump and to try and destabilize American uh, civilization so they can bring in this 
kind of radical new socialism, um, which is being represented by the Biden-Harris campaign in 2020. And then, of course, even after that, this is not enough. Of course, they bring in Black Lives Matter and Antifa, who come in um, basically as um, left-wing terrorists, who then begin to loot and burn and destroy and cause mayhem. And they've been doing that ever since the uh, incident with George Floyd. So there's been a tremendous amount of destabilization. There's a great documentary coming out called The Plot Against the US President, uh, The Plot Against the President, that's coming out soon. Uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the uh, report from Tiger Mountain. So there's been a tremendous amount of coup attempts going on against President Trump. And I do think people are waking up, people all over the world, not just in America. People can see what's going on. They see the connection between the globalists and they see the connection between China. And they're all working together to attempt to unseat President Trump. And that's why his victory in November is hugely important. So support Trump and, you know, support uh, anybody who fights against the globalist evil and the uh, Chinese evil uh, that's beginning to try and take over our world because we want liberty and we want freedom to um, promulgate and to win and win in 2020 and to fight this incredible evil that we've been facing in 2020, which is the COVID virus and all the chaos that's been caused by Black Lives Matter and Antifa. Thank you for watching the report from Tiger Mountain and we'll be back with another report soon. Thank you.